Hello everyone, it's Sean, and this is going to be a preview video for model build number, model number 35, which is going to be the Coca-Cola Volkswagen, but with a twist. And I am actually going to use my 24 scale decals here to build it as the 1997 Herbie from the Bruce Campbell TV movie. Now what I did is I carefully separated out the decals based on their scale, as you can see here. Now, if you look inside the... I'm going to angle the camera so you can see what I'm talking about. There we go. If you look at the cardboard here, you will see some unused decals, of course. See? Some unused 24 scale stripes. The original uh, cardboard that I used that came with the decals, see? And the original circle and Tamiya tape that I colored blue like Herbie, which was on my first 24 scale model car. So you can see that the, uh, actually I'm going to get the Airfix Herbie to compare the stripes. I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the original, like the Airfix Herbie, and you can compare the striping width and see, okay, so that's clearly a 24 scale stripe, but you see that circle, that is more appropriate for the actual, oh my gosh, it's too small for the doors, look, and it's, now it's the right size for the back. So I'm going to have to correct that. Those are 32 scale circles, but they are 24 scale stripes. So that's uh, good. All right. This is clearly a 24 scale stripe. Excellent. It won't have to be colored blue this time. There's remnant for a blue stripe if anything goes wrong. This, uh, Hood number is a bit too small, but it could fit for a door. All right. And then you have the rest of the numbers. So let's just take a look here and compare the size. Now, see those uh, circles there? Those are good for the hood. It's the right size. And as far as the doors are concerned, you can use this one. And as far as the back of the car, well, you can see that you can use this one. Maybe even those smaller ones. Yeah, okay, so that's good. But you see how there is specifically some script that you can use for the 1997 Herbie. It's not as thick in the circles. See how these two circles are the same size, but it's not as thick in this one as it is in this one. That's a different script too. Now I'm going to check on something. See if I have any other stickers. I'll be right back. Here we go. So we got some numbers that I bought from the dollar store. You can see them here, you know, some fives and some threes. They look pretty similar. I mean, these ones... But they're not, they're not quite the same. That's true. But I'm sure I have others. Be right back. Okay, I'm back again. Got the box with the uh, 24 scale Airfix Herbie. All right, so that's the 32 scale guide. There's the uh, website where I bought the Herbie decals from. All these are dollar store numbers, which are too small. As you can see, there's the smaller 32 scale Herbie stripes. Okay, so that won't help. Uh... Okay, so there's nothing else there. Okay, so after going through all the decals I have, you realize that the ones I already possess are the best ones for Herbie. You just have to mix and match the stripes with the numbers. So that'll work perfectly. And you can see how the numbers are aligned here correctly with the hood. But these others are not. 
which is why you have to segment the stripe so that this hood decal can fit on properly. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a white sticker, a white circle sticker, and put it on there. So this has a background to go on. Otherwise, you'll see the stripe through the hood. Or you could carefully cut the stripe so that you don't have any trouble. So I'll put them away, and then we'll take a look at the Volkswagen parts itself. The reason I bought this particular one, as you'll see in a minute, is because it came with a a proper backdrop for Herbie in the first place. A proper uh, hood, I mean. Yeah, an opening hood. So you can see the instructions here. I'll just put the camera at a better angle. There we go. All right, so there's, there's the instructions. As you can see, even though it's done up as the Coca-Cola, it does have an option, option six, to put the hood on the car. Now, of course, the hood doesn't have any... Um, it says specifically ragtop requires glue because it doesn't have any pegs for it. But you can at least put it on the car and you, you can see the uh, the dashboard here. There's all the different steering wheels that use that one. And of course you have to pick the proper seats for the 97 Herbie. It's either the high ones or the lower ones. And the bumper. See, it has a proper bumper. And it has a proper mirror. So you have to pick either the circular or the square mirrors for Herbie itself. And then you can see here the different tires. So maybe you pick the proper hubcaps, etc. All right, so you see you have the... If you take a look at the chrome tree, you're going to see the... Uh, the bumpers here, so there's the bumper you use, and then you can see all the different wheels here, eight of them, and the clear pieces for the windshields, body of the car itself, you can see you have to glue the rag top off at a proper angle because there are no glue spots for it. But what I've already done is I've already marked the parts in silver sharpie. You've got the interior bucket and all the other sections of the car already. You have the tires. You have the seats and everything, which you're going to have to color gray or pearl white. You have the hood itself, which is already the proper pearl white. There's the trunk lid. There's the rag top. There's the two sets of steering wheels, gear shift, hubcaps, which are probably also in the chrome tree, and then of course the Coca-Cola stickers, but of course I'm not going to use those. I intend to use the ones that will make it look the most like Herbie itself, you know, the stripes and everything. So, put everything back carefully. There we go. There's the tires. They have a white stripe on them. That's okay, though. It's not a problem. Not a problem. Chrome. Ah, ah, there we go. There we are. Just a minute here. I found it. I found the difference. So, if you look at the... You see the chrome hubcaps. It's five of them, because you have the spare tire. Oh, you can even see my reflection in one of them. Then you see the hubcaps with the Volkswagen logo in each of them. So you'd have to pick the proper one to use for the car. All right, so there's the instructions. And then I'll just put the cover back on the box. Oh, and don't forget, the Herbie decals itself. There you go. All right, so now the box is all ready for Herbie itself. Perfect. 
All right. So I'll move it over here. And then I'll open up the laptop and I will show you the reference pictures for 1997 Herbie that I'm going to use. Screenshots from the movie itself. Okay, here we go. So I will uh, take the camera off the tripod for this so I can show you the menus more clearly. All right, so you can see the reference pictures I have for Herbie here. In this particular instance, I'm going to use 1997. Oh, let's take a look at these loose ones first. So there we go, see? Zoom in a bit. I guess you can't zoom in too much, but here, here we go. So there's a 97 Herbie. You see how the number is much higher up on the screen than it is for the 74 Herbie, see? The number's higher on the screen for the 97 Herbie, but you see how the stripe is that nice bright blue, which it is, in the decals. So that's good. And look, the rag top will stay white. It won't be a gray or a silver. And you can see the kind of bumper it uses. Okay, so let's see what the next image looks like. There's the 97 Herbie again. Ooh, let's go back one. Can you see the mirror? What kind of mirror is that? Is that a circular one? Looks like a square one. Ah, it's 2005, Herbie. Okay, so I don't want that one. All right, so let's go to the uh, 1997 Herbie. Here's some more pictures. We'll take a look at what we've got here. So I've already seen that one. There's Bruce Campbell with Herbie himself. You can see how high up the number is, and you can take a closer look at the mirror, and you see it's one rectangular one. So that's good. There it is again. So you can see how the number is offset on the stripe where it isn't on any other. So you're going to have to cut the stripe to compensate or put the sticker over the stripe. There it is racing. Okay, that's good. You can see the chrome hubcaps. They don't appear to have a uh, Volkswagen symbol on them. It's hard to tell. Oh, let's take a closer look here. This one zooms in, so let's take a look at the hubcaps. Eh, looks like there might be a slight Volkswagen symbol there. There's Herbie when he's shiny. Okay, here we go. This This should help. So let's take a look here. Is there any symbol on the hubcaps? Not that I can see. It looks pretty plain to me. That's the front again. There's the front once more. And that is the end of the Herbie images. So, so that's my plan for the 97 Herbie. So I'll actually have a proper Herbie with a proper sunroof. And you can see where the number is here, but you could see how with the 97 Herbie, how the 53 was moved over, or this stripe was actually moved further to the right, so it never impacted the blue stripe at all. Because I, I built this as accurate to the 74 Herbie as I could, including a spare bit of sprue tree which I used for the front lens. So that's all for now. And that's the preview video for model build number 35, which I will actually post tomorrow night, April 29th, on the uh, YouTube channel. So talk to you all later, and hope you're having a good week. Bye-bye.